Horns up and welcome to Stride Presents Pizza Wars. Please say hello to DCD Eats, who by now you should know. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's awesome to be back here. It's been about 20 minutes. <laughs> but you don't know that. <laughs> anyway, we are tasting Tossin Pizza today and he has obviously eaten Tossin Pizza yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. And you have like some personal favorites as well. Yeah, I do. I do. The, the meat pizza is really good. The Hawaiian pizza is pretty good. Have and, you had uh, their pepperoni? I haven't had their pepperoni. All they, right. they do a bunch of pizzas with their pesto dips and all of that on top as well, which I do enjoy once in a while, but this I'm looking forward to. It's my first time. All right, so let's have a look at the pepperoni pizza from Tosin. Now, the first thing I will tell you is that this comes with chili flakes as a default. It doesn't say pepperoni, it doesn't say spicy pepperoni, it says pepperoni, but in the description, it says chili flakes. So we had to tell them to not put the chili flakes. And as you can see, content creators in the wild, which is very important. Follow him on YouTube and on... You can't eat that. I, I, I was, just, oh, I was, just, I was just yeah showing you guys that these were the two dips that I was... These were the two dips that I was talking about. This is the pesto and this one I think is the spicy Looks like one. Looks like a cheese, spicy cheese. Spicy one. But yeah, but this is what he's really known for. Like, you know, people end up coming to, to toss, toss in for, for the, these dips. And that's why even with the pepperoni, they probably served it. Yeah, as many pizza places we have seen do. But let's just dive let's into Let's dig this. in. Yeah. Awesome. It's going to be super hot. Yeah, I can it's gonna feel it. it's going to be super it. hot, yeah. Now, this is proper desi pizza crust. There is no Naples. There is no Sicilian. There is no Roman here. This is all just fast food desi style pizzas. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, and it is very hot. It is quite hot. I don't want to burn my face, but... Ah. Okay, that is not a very solid crust. Yeah, it's definitely not. It's very floopy. It's unable to hold the weight of the toppings. So I might have to fold it. Yeah, see, it's... it's Okay, it's barely managing. And that's semolina, semolina, I guess. Semolina. On your fingers. It's a semolina. It's got a semolina crust. Cool. Anyway, shall we taste? Yeah. I might have burned my tongue. So, uh, I'm going to start with the pepperoni in itself. Uh, it, it's alright. I don't think there's nothing to brag about over here. Uh, in fact, I, like, it's it's a bit salty and uh, I didn't really taste a lot of the meat. It was, it's okay, as I was saying. Now, coming to the cheese and the sauce, I think there was too much there which sort of uh, put put it off balance completely. Now, in terms of the crust, this is a decent crust. Nothing too crazy or nothing too bad about it, in my opinion. Overall, I would probably give this like, I don't know, a 6.8. All right, that's a pizza review from DCT Eats. But if you can, if you will give me a minute, if I can pull this, but you, you can't change your score now. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna this change is just my to score enjoy now. It. This is like so basically this feels like nice garlic bread with that pesto dip. Those hit the spots for me. Rules are meant to be broken and DC it has just broken the pizza war rules. But after it's, giving my after opinion. Giving, after giving the score, so fair, fair play there. So for me personally, again, this is not a terrible pie, it's not a it's, it's above average, but is it the best pizza I've eaten? Um, not really. I think for me, this would be a solid 7 on 10. Because it's the, the pepperoni is actually not bad. I find the sauce has that little stinging masala taste still, which I'm not a fan of. Again, the balance of sauce to cheese to bread, the ratio, the structural integrity of the pizza is a little compromised by that being a little off but overall this is you know like again you want something greasy to hit the spot after you've been drinking and all this is that pizza for me or if you're well i would i would have said if it's you if you're on a budget but this pizza cost us thousand bucks so i don't think this is a budget pizza which is what i thought tossin pizza was actually but that's a review from the two of us let's find out what the cereal leaders have to say hi my name is oindrila hi my name is harsh hi i'm prathamesh and he's back today smoke pizza Samantha is back. 
Hi. She's she's the one who's allergic to chilies, which is why we made sure that this pizza has no chili flakes on it because it does come with chili flakes by default. The only thing to their credit is it's written in the description chili flakes, but just call it spicy pepperoni, guys. Anyway, are you ready to taste? Yes, I am. Oh, this looks promising. This looks good, by the way. It's funny because it seems to be a thin crust, but I feel like there's a lot of crust. <laughs> I like a little less crust. Like I feel like there's just too much. Too crust? much for a thin crust. It's like this, this much. There's like an entire centimeter or two of crust, which makes it feel like there's so much chewing in the process. The crust is almost like like a breadstick that you put in like chai in the train. That's why they give you this to actually dip it in. Ah. But we never taste these condiments because we want to taste the just pizza, the pizza. In, its, in its purest yeah. form. Crust is just okay. I think it's a thin crust pizza. Or like a, I don't know if you call this a new. I call this a desi pizza. Desi pizza, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some ordering on a game night or something, and it's fine, I guess. I think this will appeal to a lot of other people. I can see a broad uh, audience for audience for it. I broad guess, Indian audience for it. I guess that's why they have so many outlets and uh, they make yes. a lot of money probably. Hmm. I see the appeal, just not for me. Okay. Quite cheesy. It looks like that's a bad thing. It depends on how much cheese you like on your pizza. It's a little thin for me. I like it a little bit more thicker. Like bread-wise? Uh, yeah, bread and the cheese ratio. Otherwise, it's really crunchy. Not the best. Not the worst either. Sauce is heavily seasoned to my liking. It's very salty. A very bite-sized. So it's like it's not so big that. It's, I mean, generally. I feel like this is quite a small pizza slice you, compared to what I'm used to. The pepperoni is pretty good. I like the cheese. I like this pepperoni better. It's nice. Good, better cut. Not too um, thick. I think it's quite a nice pizza. Might be good for like when you're sitting and chilling with friends. But maybe not still my like my first choice. Pepperoni is amazing. Somehow the quality of this. Sorry, can I? It's your pizza slice. Do okay. what you want. Pepperoni hits right. It's a little too salty for me. Let's start with that. I like the crust, and um, I like the pepperoni. It's not bad, but it's not wow for me. Yeah. Okay. I think I would rate it uh, seven out of ten. So that's a six. I would rate this a uh, good six and a half. But yeah, I think this is quite a decent pizza. I'd probably give this an eight. All right, that's, that's a, like the best one so yeah, far. Yeah, it's the best one that you've rated so far. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a pizza review, folks. All right, folks, that's a wrap on this episode of Pizza Wars. You've got the cereal eaters' opinions. You've got DCT eats really pimping out that uh, tossin pizza sauce, which is making everyone try now. And. Uh, I will see you on the next episode of Pizza Wars. Until then, cheers and keep eating. We are going to record something here. Can you step aside? Thank you so Thank you. much. And that, my friends, is DCT Eats. That's why he is a content creator. He can talk to random people on the street and ask them to move. He is open. DCTs. DCTs. <laughs> Do it again. Again, again. And.